<laughs> what are your accomplishments so far in combating FGM, both here and back in Somalia? Um, it's a very good question. You know, uh, I always want to go back uh, to Somalia. And uh, I have been also, I think my last time, about seven years ago in Somalia, that we did a film about the discussion about the FGM. Uh, but anyway, through the radio, through the other media, through the internet, uh, through our, you know, uh, TV, that we have a good TV that I always been speaking to in Somalia, touch about this, you know, uh, the subject. So, uh, <coughs> Somalia is going to I would like to go back to Somalia and to start also to continue the social campaign going on here and there. Uh, but at, until now, <coughs> I don't know, speak a lot about the FGM, the people they say we need peace. But I say we need peace, but at the same time, don't forget about the to continue the campaign against FGM. Yes. So, there is a little a compare with our up African actually has a little campaign against FGM in Somalia. But you know, about the 20 years ago, Somalia, there was a very good uh, 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 campaign in uh, 1988. It was an international conference held in the English show, the capital city in Somalia. Mm -hmm. So imagine 20 years ago, we were really in a good way. The people they start to talk, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Education, to push also the program to school. You know, we were in a good way, but the last year, it was. Accept that, but at the same time, the people would like to continue. So, what I'm really saying about for me, you know, I'm requesting, especially the religious leaders, the imams, uh, the women who are also the Quran and the races, the Quran education, everybody should be involved and everybody should put you know, uh, their efforts together in order to abandon to all forms of their GMI. Wow, hmm. this is powerful. Oh. Lots of work to be done. Yeah, lot of work and a lot of work you are doing. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Thank you very much. Hmm. In what way is the thought of FGM message being passed on to people in the rural areas mm -hmm. where the practice is still being carried out? Mm -hmm. I think the people in the rural area, even today, you know, it is, it is the prevalence is very, very high. And these people, they need, you know, a lot of information. Telling the project the base of one year project, or six month project, even two year project, we get them more out. So our people, our the local community, our the local tradition, and <coughs> they have to understand first of all the people of the FGM. If our traditional leaders, or even our, our religious leaders involved with these things, I think it will be, it will be eradicated very soon. So the people in the, in the, in the, in the rural area have very little information they got. And I requested also the African you know, uh, government and the NGOs, they have to go in the remote area in order you know, to eradicate about the FGM. Project basis will get them to work out. I repeated that the people themselves said they have to work and they have to go <coughs> out and have the education. FGM, they shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't only treat it as a separate subject. They have to input in the health education. They have to put all the activities going on, even normal meetings in the rural area. Everybody should be taught about the FGM and yes. how to stop it. You are right. It's not, it's not only one issue. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, a lot of uh, programs going on here and there. And then uh, FGM should be part of that program in health-wise. Uh, and then also in the social wise and, and everything. Even the people when they are, you know, having the weddings or meetings or you know, when they are cultivating their land, they should also have FGM should be part of, 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 of their, you know, activities in the area. All the NGOs. Wow. <laughs> I believe we have really accomplished much in this uh, little time we have shared. And uh, I know that lots of people have heard us and uh, every information you brought to this meeting has been passed out very well. For the sake of time, I just want to ask you one more question. Mm -hmm. We know that the government has criminalized FGM. Can you tell us more about this law? Uh, I think in Holland, uh, uh, from 1993, all forms of FGM, they, the, 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 they are not allowed.
child here, even if the parents, if they do, you know, practicing in, in somewhere in Somalia or Sudan, wherever in the Africa, and come back here, they were also risky from four years to 12 years old. So the, the law and the law enforcement in, in Holland now is a big issue. So that the, our people, our African people, or the people who are practicing of the FGM, they have to know that FGM is not allowed mm -hmm. in their land. That they have to protect their children. Yes. That's my conclusion. So do you have any contact information for people who may be having more questions? and they need your help. Yeah, of course. Would you please feel free and give us your information so that people can know how to contact you? Yeah, I think we have a small office in the West <coughs> Park in, the, in, in, in Amsterdam. I'm working you know, four days per week. Uh, our telephone number is 020486128. We have a website, the www.internetbrothers.nl that you can contact us you know, anytime, any question related about the future. Would you please repeat the, the telephone number and the website so that our listeners can hear you clearly? Okay, our telephone number is uh, the Mr. Dan 0248-6168. And our website is uh, www.kbrownmaiden.nl. So then you can send us the old information in for a large crowd meeting. I think people have been trying to call us, but the telephone were not placed very well. So that's why they're calling our mobile now. Okay, we are sorry for those of you who have been trying to contact us and you couldn't call us, but you have you have had a number of uh, Zara and Elaine. You can contact her on on zero twenty four eight six one six two eight. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Well, this has been brought to you by Radio Voice of the Niger on Radio Radio. And uh, we've had a good time.